Hello everyone, this is Roger from Wave Computation Technologies. In this video tutorial, I'm going to introduce a new feature of the software Wavenology, which is the capability of performing hybrid simulation of both 3D EM fields and the charged particle motion trajectories. To begin with, I want to first review the basic concepts of this simulation technology. We are very familiar with the physical laws that are governing the EM field variations in space and time. That is the Maxwell's equations, which is a combination of Gauss's law, Ampere's law, and Faraday's law. On the charged particle world, the governing laws is the Lorentz forces equation, which says that the EM field will generate forces on the charged particles and thus will bring accelerations to the particle and hence will change its velocity and moving trajectory. In our simulation engine, we design a process flow to make the two sets of physics talk. The key elements in a process loop can be described as the following. First, we calculate the 3D EM field. And second, we take this field and calculate its impact on the charged particles. After we obtain this piece of information, we predict the status change of the particles in terms of speed and space shift. From here, we convert these changes into a radiating source and couple the radiated near field back to the 3D EM field simulation engine. So this is the fundamental interactions that we need to simulate at each time step. Of course, there are much deeper descriptions on the particle world, such as the relativistic speed, which is also considered in the software, but the details are far beyond the scope of this topic. Next, I want to use two examples to demonstrate how to use the software with knowledge to, to perform particle in-cell simulations in full wave environment. The first example is to simulate the particle moving trajectory between two parallel metal plates. The two metal plates is charged with a um, voltage source that is inputting a sinusoidal signal. And the LC circuit is also included in this case. The particle simulation module is already embedded into the project tree. So if you double click the particles, it will pop up a dialog asking all the information for particle simulation, including the initial XYZ position and the initial velocity along the XYZ direction. Also the charges that the particle is carrying and also its mass. So you can add them one by one by hand through this dialog. And you can also have lo load the predefined data from a file. So in this case, the, par the 10 particles are located in, this, in the middle of the plate, as can be seen over here. And to demonstrate how the particle moves, we also define a field snapshot between the two metal plates. To save some time, I've already simulated this project. And let's directly take a look at the results. First of all, let's take a look at the snapshot of the electromagnetic field. I want to use log, log scale, then hide the um, field vector. And as it's involved, you can see the field is charging the metal plate and because it's a um, sinusoidal signal it just keeps oscillating so if I do show the field vector you will see it's pointing back and forth between the two plates now it's changing back so because of this back and forth changing fields, it will interact with the particle and start to move them. So let's take a look at the particle results. Let me enlarge it. And this is a control panel that you can control the uh, movies. So you have two options to display your particle with larger and smaller as well. And then you can evolve its motion. 
as you can see, the two, the two set of particles with opposite charges start to move as the field begins to oscillate between the board. And their trajectories keep changing. It will go back a little bit and then moving toward the plate again. Let's do it again. See, this is the motion. All right. So you can also click this button and show its trajectory, as you can see here. Okay. This is how the ten charges moving toward uh, the two polar of the plates. And that finished the first example. Okay. Now the second example is a um, waveguide tube excited with the wave port and there are um, a thousand of particles being loaded at the beginning. So again, first let's take a look at the field distribution, transient field distribution. So as you can see, a pulse is being heated into the wave tube. It's propagating out and it's heating the grid that is filtering out the particles. So this is the 3D electromagnetic field. When we finish the particle simulation, we can also take a look at its trajectory over here. So for example, we have 1,000 particles. This is the essential trajectory. Now these particles have different uh, charges, different initial speed, and different initial positions. Also, their mass is different as well. So if we take a look at the, um, the animations, for example, I want them to be larger, you will begin to see, okay, at the beginning, the particles with, with larger charges and lighter particles are moving fast. They're coming out first. And those heavy particles and with uh, smaller charges, they're moving slow and they're all coming out with the field driving them and then it's passing the future it's going out okay so that's the second example demonstrating this capability of simulating particle motion together with a complex EM field alright thank you for watching